Hi guys, good evening, and welcome back once again to The Edward. I'm your host, Eddie, and in tonight's video, I'll be discussing what I thought of the eighth and final season premiere of our favorite spinoff show, Fear the Walking Dead, which had an early release today on AMC+. Plus. It'll be dropping on AMC as regularly scheduled this coming Sunday, but to those of us who are AMC Plus holders, what? <laughs> um, it was uh, dropped today and uh, we got to enjoy it today. I just finished watching it, really liked it. Before I get into all of that, of course, please be warned, this is a spoiler-filled review. So if you haven't seen the season eight premiere of Fear the Walking Dead yet and you would like to, do not keep watching or listening to this video as I will be discussing spoilers, plot details, character stuff, all that jazz. That being said, you have been warned. So let's dive right back into it. First and foremost, it feels bittersweet, the show ending. It's a little sad, but it also feels kind of right. I mean, it feels like, you know, the, the show's had its ups and downs and inconsistencies like any show has had over the years. So it kind of feels like the time to end it is, should be now, which is why I, I kind of feel okay with the show ending. Um, I wish they'd resolve a couple of things, but you can't always get what you want, you know? So that's just my thoughts on it being the final season. I'm sure whatever they have in store for us is going to be great. It's probably going to be one hell of a final season. And from what the cast and crew have been teasing, it's going to have a pretty satisfactory conclusion with possibly some familiar faces popping up. We'll see. But let's talk about this first episode. I thought it was very surprising. I thought that, you know, Morgan would be out in the world on his own and he would be trying to rally uh, an army, perhaps, against Padre and everything they stand for. And then it turns out, plot twist, he's working with them as a collector. The same job Madison had when we first saw her again in the season seven finale. Was that a year ago? Two years ago that was? Man, it feels like it's been a minute since that uh, season finale. That's when we first met her as a collector, which was someone who would take children away from their parents and bring them to Padre for a better life. But it sounds like Morgan's got a different way of going about it. He takes kids who are already orphaned or the parents give them willingly away in exchange for a better life. And it seems like he's not the only one. Grace is also a collector or at least working for Padre to some extent. I guess they both agreed or came to the same conclusion that Mo would have a better, safer life living behind the walls of Padre than she would living out in the wild with Morgan and Karen. You know, I, I guess they had a change of heart. I mean, a lot can happen to a person in seven years, which is about how long it's been since the season seven finale and now the season eight premiere. That's how long Madison was locked up for. And it seems like she was trying to off herself because she had fulfilled her purpose, which was she got Mo and Morgan out of there. But it turns out she was in jail for nothing for seven years because Morgan is now working for Padre and um, uh, Mo is a resident as well. But it seems like she may have had a change of heart by the end of this episode, having met her parents, her adoptive parents. Maybe she wants a new life with them. Will she start working against Padre? Who knows? We'll have to keep watching to find out. But this was an interesting, unexpected season premiere. It had some nasty, gnarly-looking walkers that were awesome. Some interesting set pieces like the swamp, the marsh, whatever you want to call it. That interesting little houseboat that was starting to sink as they had to escape it from the walkers clamoring all over it. And a pretty exciting rescue scene when Karen... Uh, Karen... <laughs> <laughs> That's the actress's name. When Grace came in on the little speedboat and uh, plowed down the walkers and saved uh, Madison and Morgan and Mo, even though they all ended up back with Padre again, it was an interest. It was a very interesting, uh, refreshing uh, way to start a new season. Normally, our characters, our sides are quickly. Uh, made clear in the season openers like who are our bad guys who are our good guys right now there doesn't seem to be any sides at the moment because our good guys are seemingly working with or working for the bad guys but how long will that remain in effect for again we'll have to keep watching to find out but this was a pretty entertaining season premiere it was certainly very surprising because it was so surprising it really kept my interest like it kept me engaged and I'm like 
what's going to happen next here? Wait a second. Who's working for Padre? Why are they acting like this? But it all became very clear as the episode went along. So um, I'm excited for this final season. It's bittersweet, but at the same time, it feels right. And uh, I'm looking forward to seeing what happens next. I can't wait to see Madison reunite with other characters that she knew, like Daniel and Luciana and Strand once again, hopefully later down the line. And... Um, it's going to be fun to see everybody again and what they're all up to. If everybody else is living under Padre's thumb or are they living on their own close to Padre, who knows? We'll have to watch and find out. But I really enjoyed this season premiere. I liked it a lot. I didn't love it like I've loved other season premieres, but I really enjoyed this season premiere a lot because it was exciting. It was dramatic. It was very unexpected with the plot twists and the character allegiances. But allegiances can change and shift for better or for wrong reasons. And we guess we'll find out what those reasons are in due time. All right, guys, thanks for watching. Have a wonderful rest of your night. I hope you enjoyed the season eight premiere of Fear the Walking Dead as much as I did. What did you think of it? I'd love to hear your thoughts and feelings. Have an awesome rest of your night. Fear the Walking Dead is now back with brand new episodes dropping early on Thursdays on AMC Plus and then on regularly scheduled programming on Sunday nights on AMC. Have a good one, everyone. Thanks for watching. And of course, until next time, May the force be with you.